Welcome everyone to the 54th graduation of the College of Public Health. This is our celebration of you and our 2020 graduates. I'm Laura Simonoff, Dean of the College of Public Health, and each year it is my distinct pleasure to guide the celebration of your graduation. I know this was not what you had in mind when you thought about graduation, and it certainly was not what I had in mind either. Instead of gathering in the Leah Kura Center, surrounded by about 7,000 people, this year we're scattered around the country and the world watching this together. I'm speaking to you from my home office in Philadelphia. However, I do hope you are at home watching this with some of your family and celebrating your achievement together. Many of you may only be familiar with the small part of the college that you attended. I don't usually do this, but I want to list all the disciplines that are encompassed within the College of Public Health. So, here goes. Communication Sciences and Disorders, Environmental Health, Nursing, Health Policy, Physical Therapy, Public Health, Social Work, Athletic Training, Kinesiology, Exercise and Sports Science, Public Health, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Occupational Therapy, Biostatistics, Recreational Therapy, Health Information Management, Informatics, and Health Professions. So, why did I read this list to you? Because the current health crisis has highlighted the wisdom of bringing together the disparate pieces of our health system. That is, considering public health, individual care, and social services as a single interdisciplinary thread that holds together the fabric of a population and its individual members' well-being. The College of Public Health is actually founded on that premise, that only by understanding how the health of populations connects to the health of individuals can we create a truly healthy society. The College's single most important aspiration is that we all learn together with our constituent disciplines because only when all of us understand issues of access, equity, and the social and physical environments that we inhabit can we optimize the likelihood that everyone can enjoy a life of physical, social, and emotional well-being. Most of you, I believe, chose this college because you're interested in pursuing an avocation that will transform people's lives by improving all aspects of health, whether it's pursued through changing policy, creating an assistive device that will provide mobility for an elderly person, or becoming a health care practitioner or a public health practitioner who works with a city like Philadelphia to mitigate the coronavirus to prevent the deaths of thousands of people. The current pandemic signals the urgency of this mission. We as a nation are in dire need of recreating our health system and our approach to keeping ourselves safe. To do this, we must reject the paradigm of individual care provision versus a public health perspective. They really are one. You as students are an integral part of this unique challenge, one in which many fields must come together to transform how we think about and study health and how we implement the way we care for our communities. Our mission then has been to train you to become the next generation of health professionals who can create the new knowledge and the new health care delivery systems that will result in all of us enjoying optimal health and well being. Last year, I mentioned the old adage that if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. And frankly, little did I know that the following year we would experience the greatest pandemic in modern history. And this is why you are all so important. We are looking to you our future leaders to succeed where, where your elders unfortunately have failed. We look to you at this moment to make a commitment that when our next crisis comes, our response will be much better. It's my hope that we as educators, researchers, and practitioners have helped to transform your lives so you can transform the lives of others. We are heading into the unknown together. Many of you will immediately take your place in the healthcare workforce. Some of you already have. Whatever you do, I know that you will harness your talent, energy, 
and dedication to make our society a much better place. I sincerely hope you will keep in touch with the college. I look forward to hearing about your accomplishments and what you achieve. I hope you will continue to be a part of the college's life and that we can continue to be a part of yours. So now I want to introduce our keynote speaker. It is my great honor and pleasure to introduce Judy Faulkner, today's keynote speaker. Judy is CEO and founder of Epic, the nation's leading provider of integrated healthcare software. I'm sure all of you have heard of Epic, whether as care providers, as students, or as patients. Since Epic was founded in 1979 in her basement apartment in Wisconsin, it has grown to become the nation's leading provider of integrated healthcare software. The country has gone on to introduce a number of firsts, such as the first successful graphical user interface based electronic medical record, the first integrated patient portal, and the first comprehensive health record that integrates mental health, social care, specialty pharmacy, genomics, dental, payers, retail medicine, and workplace health. Her contributions to healthcare technology are truly legion. Judy was listed as one of 50 memorable contributors to healthcare IT by the Healthcare Information and Management Systems Society, named by Becker's Hospital Review, as one of the 50 most powerful people in healthcare, one of the 40 smartest people in healthcare, and her personal favorite, that she is amongst the 26 most controversial people in healthcare. Modern Healthcare lists her in their 100 Most Influential People in Healthcare, and she received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the College of Healthcare Information Management Executives. Judy received her Master of Science in Computer Science from the University of Wisconsin and her Bachelor's Degree in Mathematics from Dickinson College. She has been recognized with honorary doctorates from the University of Wisconsin in the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. Through Epic's many innovations, she has transformed the nature of hospital care and medical records. As we have seen during the COVID-19 crisis, as hospitals are being pushed to their limit, the value of efficient, integrative healthcare systems cannot be overstated. To our students in the clinical fields, you will soon become very, very familiar with Epic Systems. And you will see firsthand the imprint that Judy continues to make on the way we provide care. To those pursuing policy and research, the data provided by these systems cannot be overstated. And now, Judy Faulkner. Hello, class of 2020. I'm honored to speak with you today as we celebrate your commencement from Temple University, one of the finest public health schools in the world. Today, I'll tell you four short stories from my life. All are about being an accidental tourist on the river of life that takes you to new places. My first story is from seventh grade. Every day, my teacher put a math puzzle on the board and didn't say a word about it. The next day, he put a new puzzle and the answer to the previous one. It was what I looked forward to every day. And because of him, I decided I absolutely loved math. The second story. The summer after my junior year at college, where I was a math major, of course, I went to the University of Rochester to work in radiation physics, which I knew nothing about. When I got there, I was surprised. They expected me to program. The closest thing I had ever seen to a computer was an adding machine. And if you don't know what that is, you can Google it. They gave me a Fortran book in a week. By the end of the summer, I loved programming. Really, what software is, is math. Lines and lines of math. It's language, you need to think in it, and it's art to make it a joy to use. When I applied to graduate school in math, Two of the schools accepted me in computer science. I thought, wow, that's neat. I didn't know that anyone could be a major in computer science. So I went to one of those schools. And as you can see, 
the river of life changes course. The third story, and the river continues to wander. At the University of Wisconsin, I took probably the first ever computers and medicine class. One of the professors asked me to work with his team. After a couple years doing various projects, I was asked to create a system that would allow clinicians to define their own data elements, design their own screens, and keep track of all of a patient's clinical information over time, whether inpatient or outpatient. Back then, almost everything was hard-coded, and the only systems that vendors were selling commercially were building a lab. What they were asking for was a clinical database system, what would eventually become the underlying infrastructure for Epicare. And let me assure you, I'm told that not a line of the code I originally wrote is still in use. Story four. Now the river's flowing faster. I installed the system in many departments at the UW. My users would call me up and say, Judy, start a company, and I would laugh and say no. Picture me as a graduate student, wearing blue jeans, t-shirts, cutting my own hair. I was a programmer. After several years of being asked, I said yes. And we started business in the basement of an apartment complex with one and a half people. Appreciate what the river of life brings you and do your best to have interesting adventures in every place the river takes you. In public health, you'll have many opportunities. Consciously keep being curious. It's all too easy to lose that. When my kids were five and 10, I was driving them to school and I asked them, what two things do you need from your parents? They thought for a bit and said, food and money. I said, you need roots and wings. Most of you were fortunate enough to have good roots because you're here. This commencement marks the time for wings to take off and fly your best. It might feel like a strange time to celebrate as we are facing one of the greatest public health challenges of the past century. COVID-19 has changed our lives and the lives of people around the world. Yet it's also a time of hope as we all come together to face this challenge. As public health emergencies continue, your role will be increasingly important. As you graduate, I wish strong wings for you. You are joining the fight to keep people well, to protect the health of our world, and to save lives. I also wish that you dedicate part of your life to helping those who are less fortunate grow strong roots so that they too will someday have strong wings I'd like to leave you with a poem that I have on my wall. It's from the opera Aida. A lifetime of service, wisdom, courage. That's all we ask of you. Nothing else will do. Congratulations, best wishes, and thank you. Now I'm pleased to introduce our speaker, Hannah McKinney, who is receiving her Bachelor of Science in Public Health. During her time at Temple, Hannah has served as a model student through her academic achievement, her thoughtful contributions to the classroom, and her dedication to serving her community. As an active member of Eta Sigma Gamma, the Health Education Honor Society, she's assisted in a number of health promotion and community service events. For the past two years, Hannah has volunteered with the College of Physicians of Philadelphia, mentored high school students, and provided information on health issues during Teen Health Week. She's also served as a student ambassador and a wonderful student ambassador to prospective students and their families. In the future, Hannah intends to continue her education pursuing a Master of Public Health degree with a focus on health promotion and improving the health of communities. And now Hannah McKinney will address us. Hi everyone. My name is Hannah McKinney, and I'm honored to be representing the College of Public Health class of 2020. I'd first like to congratulate all of you today. While this sort of celebration is monumental in its own, this year's ceremony in particular represents something far bigger than ourselves. 
And this year alone, we have witnessed firsthand a global pandemic affect every aspect of our lives, with our graduation being no exception. And yet we persevered. We have finished out our last semester, regardless of the uncertainty that lies in each and every one of our paths. Our resiliency and ability to continue to march forward is astounding. And while I recognize that this was never how we expected our college journeys to end, it will not diminish the accomplishments we have achieved during our time here at Temple. Now my college journey did not start at Temple. Like many of you, I struggled at a previous institution, unsure of what career path to take and where I saw myself in the years to come. It wasn't until halfway through my sophomore year of college that Temple University even crossed my mind. But believe me when I say, transferring to this school was the best decision I made for both my personal and academic self. From the minute I became an owl, I was overwhelmed with the endless opportunities for growth and development that this school has to offer. It was here that I saw myself grow and finally discover what it is I wanna do with the rest of my life. It was here that I found this incredible discipline of public health and all that the field has to offer. Now, since declaring my major of public health, I've noticed I'm asked two questions the most. When discussing my degree, the typical response seems to be, now what is public health exactly? But since of late, that question hasn't seemed to come up. Instead, I've been asked, so what are your thoughts on coronavirus? The reason I bring this up, however, is because as a student in the College of Public Health, we experienced firsthand a global pandemic develop and come into existence. We were able to witness not only how healthcare professionals handled the situation, but how the general population responded. And from a public health perspective, this is not only fascinating, but instructive. Now, in a world of social media, it's hard to not become invested in the opinions and politics surrounding something as widely broadcasted as the coronavirus. But I would like to share one observation that stood out to me significantly. On Twitter, I had read, coronavirus makes clear what has been true all along. Your health is as safe as that of the worst insured, worst cared for person in your society. It will be decided by the height of the floor, not the ceiling. Now, while I speculated why this tweet in particular stood out to me so much, it dawned on me that this is a prime example of what public health is all about. Even in a country as wealthy as the United States, we have been no stranger to those who live on the floor. And as public health professionals, a major question we will be faced with is how do we go about raising this floor? And while we may not discover that answer today, this college has set us up to address this question and so much more. Now, before I end, I wish to leave you all with this. As I mentioned, this college has given all of us the tools we need to become the influencers of public health in every area pertaining to it. We have the ability to create a healthier, stronger, more educated society. Each one of us has the ability to transform healthcare in every aspect, so don't settle for accepting what you cannot change. Challenge the policymakers who stole reproductive rights in the South. Support the local programs combating the opioid epidemic that is affecting our own communities. Stand behind those who are actively advocating for basic human rights and fight every day for those who are living on the floor. We truly are the future of public health and those improvements we wish to see are ours to make. Thank you and as always, go Owls. Noah John Bianchi. Hannah Suzanne Braid. Gianna De Simone. Kayla F. Firestone. Thomas G. Gers. Kira O'Connell. Michaela Ruth Peel. Helen J. Shoemaker. Jessica Aaron Zbietniewski. Sultana Abdul Rahim. Jessica Aluni. Amethyst Jade Barzi. Victoria V. Belanovskaya. Courtney Bernhardt. 
Jessica Molly Burson, Amy Bonomo, India Brown, Sharon Andrea Campos, Lauren Anna Coletti, Teresa Council. Dana Alexandra Crow, Amanda Casilda Cullen, Dariko Danielian, Danielle M. D'Antonio, Alyssa Erin L. De Guzman, Eddie Yomar Diaz Serrano. Aliyah R. Dolman, Madeline Claire Dunn, Victoria C. Epes, Jessica Fajardo, Catherine Ferretti, Krista Noel Filbert. Magdalene A. Flame, Olivia Ethel Fleming, Elizabeth Susan Frederick, Rachel Friel, Hannah Goldstein, Jacqueline Marie Gordon. Mackenzie N. Haddock, Rachel E. Haddock, Sarah Mackenzie Hahn, Mayreed V. Hanna, Diamond Ariana Hill, Leah Martise Horton. Janessa Renee Hughes, Jane Joe, Mary Joe R. Keenan, Shannon Marie Kilpatrick, Madeline Elaine Knapp, Joshua Edward Knappenberger. Heidi Ann Craft, Celeste Joao Lamera, Megan Ann Lynch, Jacqueline Teresa McCarrick, Grace Elizabeth Malone, Samantha N. Molds. Emily Murphy, Isabella Neff, Megan Palmer, Alyssa Susan Peter, Rosa Mariela Pinto, Gianna Marie Priolo. Alexa Marie Responti, Chloe Elise Reeves, Kelsey Renninger, Kate Ann Robinson, Dominica M. Rotecki, Marina Rose Salvatore. Robert Frederick Seafelt Jr. Kira J. Skoog. Maura Elizabeth Smith. Kanisha Celestine Smithherd. Tara Lynn Stockage. Dana Teresa Zarek. 
Kimberly Nicole Thompson. Nityashri Taruchirai Sarangarajan. Vivian Tran. Marsha Triana Martinez. Kara White. Samantha Kimberly Wong. Rebecca D. Zimmerman. Grace Boston. Sierra Renee Boyce. Nicholas G. Bruno. Dana J. Calabrese. Gabrielle A. Castriotto. Aaron N. Deviney. Aaron E. Donahue. Kelly M. Doyle. Jackie Eisenberg. Lauren Firely. Christine M. Ford. Alyssa M. Galetta. Laurel Hessler. Heather A. Highstead. Madison Y. Cosey. Rebecca J. Landis. Christina L. Liuzzi. Carly L. Myers. Jacqueline S. Navarro. Carolyn M. Policio. Maureen Rabbit. Julia Rose Santasuoso. Annalise J. Tarafas. Tori N. Tone. Melissa M. Wells. Kristen P. Zuli. Finally, I am so pleased to welcome Veronica Hill Milborn, Chair of the College of Public Health Board of Visitors. Veronica is President and CEO of Spectrum Health Services, a nonprofit community health center that serves the Philadelphia area. Before her position at Spectrum, Veronica was CEO of Pathways, a mental health and behavioral health services provider. She's also held the positions of Senior Vice President for Medical Services at the Health Transformation Alliance in Washington, D.C., and was Vice President of Clinical Services at Health Partner Plans in Philadelphia. Veronica's professional and educational background seems to touch on every aspect of healthcare. She holds a bachelor's degree in nursing, a master's degree in health education, and a Juris Doctor degree, which she earned at Temple's Beasley School of Law. An active community member, Veronica serves on a number of local and national political committees and not-for-profit boards, providing services to underserved populations. In 2018, she became the first African-American woman elected to the Horsham Township Council in Montgomery County. Veronica has built an extensive career in operations management, government relations, and community health promotion across some of the most impactful healthcare organizations in our region. So now, Veronica will provide today's closing remarks. Good morning. I'm Veronica Hill Milborn, and I am the chair of the College of Public Health for Temple University's Board of Visitors. And on behalf of the Board of Visitors and members of Temple University's College of Public Health and as alum of Temple University, I congratulate and commend you. Today is a special day of celebration. Now I'd like to ask you to reflect for a few moments on why you chose to seek a degree at Temple University's College of Public Health. 
And I would imagine that some of the factors that you considered included an expectation that you would be afforded a quality education from a prestigious academic institution, richly entrenched in his commitment to diversity and inclusion, community engagement, and civic responsibility. A learning institution which cultivates imagination and largest perspective and prepares its students to be global citizens. I remind you that the degree that has been conferred to you comes with the rights, responsibilities, and privileges associated with a degree from Temple University. These rights and privileges bring an enormous responsibility to make good use of your knowledge and for you to serve your community. Today, you will begin your professional journey and join a long line of distinguished healthcare professionals like our keynote speaker, Judah Faulkner, who have taken this responsibility to serve seriously and work tirelessly to make the world a better place. You may have heard previous alumni refer to themselves as Temple Maid. Well, this reference infers that you have been equipped with exceptional knowledge recognized in your field of expertise, a commitment to community service, and the value proposition and appreciation for diversity and inclusion. You identify with Temple's unique spirit, sense of pride, and roll up your sleeves attitude. Being Temple made has adequately prepared you for the multitude of healthcare challenges that certainly lie ahead. The COVID-19 pandemic has dramatically transformed the world as we know it. Our healthcare professionals and providers are true heroes who bravely and intentionally place themselves on the front lines and are selfless in serving others. Now, these are uncertain times and the need for your service is greater than ever. The end of the pandemic is yet not definite, and there have been over 2.7 million people worldwide impacted by this epidemic. Healthcare providers and researchers are working around the clock to halt the spread of the virus. However, I believe that together we will be victorious in eradicating this devastating virus. And I recognize that this pandemic has impacted each of you in many ways that will be forever entrenched in your memory. However, I want to remind you that your degree has prepared you well to join this courageous group of professionals who respond to the call of duty day in and day out. This is your opportunity to step up and serve. It's important for you to understand that as healthcare providers, we don't run from the fire, we run towards the fire. So I ask you now, how will you put your education to use? What will your gifts to the world be? Will you be a mentor to others, a healthcare provider, a researcher, an advocate for the underserved, an educator, a supporter of the environment, a philanthropist, a dedicated ambassador for Temple? Any one of these would be a great legacy. You must also embrace the opportunity to pay it forward and to support the countless other students that will follow. I ask that you remain connected to the College of Public Health, and I encourage you to become an active member of the Temple University Alumni Association and to support the college with your gifts as an acknowledgement of your appreciation for the phenomenal education, support, and experience that you received. Your future support of Temple will allow the college to continue helping thousands of underserved students like so many of you. After today, please actively consider how you might serve your college and seek out ways that you might lend support, whether you think it's small or large. Let us not forget the obligation to give back. Today, I hope you leave here with a deep appreciation for the experience that you have received and for the education that you have received. And I hope that you will remember the first time you stepped onto the campus and that you will cherish the friends and the memories that you have made during your time at this special place. Remember, you are Temple Maid. Carry yourself with pride and purpose. So again, I'm proud of all of you and I'm confident in your ability to do amazing things. 
Congratulations, Temple University College of Public Health, class of 2020, and best wishes, and God bless. Hello, my name is Lisa Bedore, and I serve as chair of the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders. I am pleased to welcome you to our CSD graduation ceremony. I have a few words to say, and then we'll hear from our program directors, Dr. Zarina Krakow and Lauren Burroughs. Finally, we will have a wonderful welcoming statement from Mr. Jonathan Hartman, who directs our American Sign Language program. We are always proud of our students, but as I think of our current graduates, I think of the Temple motto, Perseverance Conquers. After persisting through their respective work programs, our graduates have stood up to the many challenges that spring 2020 has thrown their way as they headed toward the graduation finish line. It is with the support of family and friends that they have shown this resilience. As we move towards the challenges ahead, the support will be as valuable as ever. We, we hope that your Temple experiences and your perseverance will help you stay resilient and succeed on your path ahead. To our graduates majoring in speech, language, and hearing science, and those majoring in linguistics, I am so proud of you, of your academic achievements, your double majors, minors, and certificates, of your service to the community at Temple and beyond, of your participation in research, and of how you succeeded even in this crazy COVID semester. I'm happy that I was able to play a role in your time here at Temple and I congratulate each and every one of you. On behalf of the Master of Arts in Speech, Language, and Hearing Science faculty, congratulations to you, our 2020 graduates. You have worked incredibly hard during your journey throughout the program, studying for exams, preparing materials for clinic, balancing schoolwork and life. We are extremely proud of your accomplishments, especially your dedication to the clinical populations you serve. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. They say that the last leg of the race is always the hardest, but you've made it. Congratulations to Temple University's College of Public Health Class of 2020. Congratulations to the Class of 2020. You made it. Hey, College of Public Health graduates. Congratulations. You can make it through this semester. You can make it through anything. Now go forth and conquer the world. Congratulations to the Class of 2020. Hats off, well-deserved. Good luck on your next adventure. Congratulations. Job well done. Now that's how you do it. Now go out there. Enjoy the journey. Go get them. At long last, you've graduated. Hooray, congratulations. We are all so proud of you. Congratulations to the CPH class of 2020. 
you made it, you did it. And we're so proud of you. Wishing you all the best and all success as you enter this new phase of your life. Congratulations, go get them. Congratulations, you crazy Temple grad. Looking forward to seeing you at the next homecoming game. See you then, go Owls. Class of 2020, you have gone through what was probably the most difficult semester of your entire time at Temple, and you made it. Congratulations on your fortitude, your persistence, and your hard work. We are proud of you. I am proud of you. And I wish you the very best of everything as you enter the next leg of your journey. Congratulations, Alex, you did it. Yay, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you and all that you've been through. We can't wait to see all that you will accomplish. Please be sure to stay in touch. Congratulations. We can't be there in person, but we're with you in spirit. Temple proud. Congratulations, social workers. We love you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome to the club. Temple made, Temple proud. Congratulations, my third year DPT students. Told you I'd be here no matter what. Take care. Les envío éxito y les envío buena salud a todos en, en todas las futuras etapas de la vida que vienen por ahí. Hey graduates of 2020, all of us in the Kinesiology Physical Activity Program want to wish you congratulations and the very best. And remember, stay physically active. Congratulations to Temple University's College of Public Health Class of 2020. And welcome to my new colleagues, the new doctors of physical therapy. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations, Class of 2020. You've worked extremely hard to get to where you are. Make your celebration, no matter how you do it, a true celebration of you. It's your time to shine. I'm cheering for all of you. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2020 and to the social work students in particular on this great achievement in what were really difficult circumstances. You should be very proud of what you've done. Class of 2020, you exemplify the university motto, Perseverance Congress. Congratulations and you are truly Temple made. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2020, Temple U class of 2020. Hope, dream, inspire, love, do all that you can do and be great, have great lives. We wish we were with you, but you're in our hearts and minds. Congrats. Congratulations class of 2020. Go out and show the world what Temple made means during these difficult times. Soon this will be in your rear view mirror. It'll be stories to tell your grandchildren. Until then, be resourceful, be hopeful, and do good. Over the second half of the semester, you've shown your family, your friends, and your faculty the true meaning of the university's motto, Perseverance Conquers. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go forward and do amazing things with your careers, and your lives. Congratulations to the College of Public Health graduating class of 2020, and in particular to the Doctors of Physical Therapy graduating class. Uh, I'm proud to call you all my colleagues, and welcome to the profession. Congratulations. Congratulations on becoming a CPH graduate. We're so proud of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations, speech, language, and hearing majors. We are so proud of you. Class of 2020, you have earned this achievement, and we are so very proud of you. Go do great things. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to all of our Bachelor of Science and Health Professions majors. Go get them, class of 2020. Hey, graduates. Well, we didn't see this coming, but may you have nothing but 2020 vision in your future. Congratulations to the College Public Health class of 2020. We're all so very proud of you. Congratulations, Temple CPH class of 2020. Woo! Cheers to the HIM graduates. Wishing you the best life has to offer. Looking forward to seeing you again. In the meantime, sending all my love. Take care. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2020. You are Temple made. Congrats, everybody. Go out in the world and do great things. And never forget, you are Temple made. Hi, nurses. 
three quick things from Dr. Dickey. One, your nursing degrees are the most versatile and useful in the entire world. Two, keep walking. And three, take care of your feet. You're going to need them when you're my age. Love you guys. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. You earned it. Temple University, class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations. You make us proud to be owls. Hoo hoo. Graduating from the College of Public Health requires dogged determination. So for me and Nito, congratulations. Hey y'all, I love being a part of your journey. I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys are amazing. Congratulations, class of 2020. You should be extremely proud of everything that you've accomplished. I wish you the absolute best in our world. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you and admiring your commitment to change. Please take time out to practice wellness and know that we're thinking of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Be healthy, be happy, do great things in the world. Congratulations, CPH graduates. The world needs you and your talent and your ambition now more than ever. And we know you're going to go out into the world and do great things. Congratulations, graduates. You're the future of public health and you're needed now more than ever. We are so proud of you and cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Congratulations on your graduation, class of 2020. I wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it, and we're so proud of you. The perseverance that you students showed this semester, you're going to carry that character out into your first job and into grad programs. You're going to do terrific. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. We're very proud of your accomplishments and wish you the best. Congratulations, CPH class of 2020. You made it. Now you're ready to fly to the community, to the society, and to the world. This class is going to hold a special place in my heart because a lot of you were in my first class that I taught at Temple. So I wish you all nothing but the best and congratulations. Hi, everybody. Dr. Connor here to say congratulations to all of the class of 2020 and especially to the OTs. Woohoo! OT rocks! Congratulations to all of the graduates of the various programs in the College of Public Health. This has been an unforgettable year. I hope the best for all of you. Congratulations, Temple Class of 2020. Temple DPT. Class of 2020, congratulations on reaching a huge milestone. Today, one leg of the journey ends, and tomorrow, another one begins. Congratulations, 